Hey everybody, I'm going to look at this question I had a couple days ago. It was asking to demonstrate some of the library key switching to articulation changes. This is from Lee Aheg. And while I'm not going to address the VSL or East-West library, I do want to show just a little bit more with the EXS24, and then we can look at the East-West library at a different time uh, if anyone's interested in that. So anyway, what we're going to do is I've got the tuba instrument. This is a simple instrument, but I wanted to pull it open because it has just some basic key switching, so it makes it really ideal for this. So I click on Edit after I have it loaded and brings up the editor. And to see where the key switching is, you go to the Groups, and under Groups, we go to View, and select group by. Now by default, this will be turned off. And then you can see it's by articulation ID right now. Uh, that ties into MIDI data. And it's going to often show up down here in the smart area, legato or staccato. And that's where that ties into. Now we can program that MIDI data in, we can write it in, we can get that in there, but most keyboards, this keyboard I'm using here, doesn't have articulation ID capabilities. So I can just play the one articulation without, or I can't really switch it while I'm using the keyboard. Now, if I wanna switch this back to the previous way this was done, I can go into control And the default for control will be the mod wheel. Now, using two hands, one on the keyboard and one on the mod wheel, I can get between the two articulations. And so I can do a much more intuitive performance there. Now, just to give you a frame of reference, we can do it by note. That means I can make some notes always be one articulation and other notes be a different one, or I can switch whole sets with notes. We can do it by group, and that's uh, an interesting way to do red robin or round robin. Red robin, that's a restaurant. We can do a uh, uh, round robin using the group. Um, we can use the pitch bend. We can use it by MIDI channel, which we have a number of instruments uh, which use MIDI channel. The articulation ID and then tempo. So at slower tempos, we would play one sample set, faster tempos, a different one. So, really, once you choose that, you have to choose the data. So, any of the continuous controllers, we can um, use one to, or zero to 127, or type it in. And then we can make these into groups. But here's the low high. So, you can see here. One sample set is 0 through 63, and then two of them are 64 through 127. They're not layered on top of each other, though. If we come here and look at the velocity range, or velocity range here, you'll see the bottom two, they're actually also separated by velocity. So one of them's playing at the lower velocities, and the other ones are playing at the higher velocities. So let's switch up our mod wheel. You can hear the louder one uh, is actually a little bit different sample. So that's how you can come in and change these. Now, I changed this one for the tuba. When I close this, I could actually save it if I want to. I'm not going to save it because um, I also like being able to have the actual articulation ID in place when I'm programming. But if you want to switch any of your instruments, that's where you do it for the different key switches. And remember, it's by group. So you have to group your different zones into groups first, and then you can move on. I think we should maybe do some uh, training on the EXS24 sampler. Or we could really just go on to Alchemy, which has a really awesome set of features as well. Okay, just to look at the articulation ID and how to change it. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you tomorrow.